Okay, so, hey guys. It always <laughs> feels so awkward. This is my friend Nico. Hello. And <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always do. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, we're just gonna film doing our makeup and stuff. Because why not? Yeah. So. Fun. <laughs> and I missed the mukbang yeah. video, so. That's a that was a little sad. I really want the Tatcha skincare stuff, but that's oh. so much money. I want the Tatcha water cream and that was sixty dollars for no. Yeah. No. It's gonna be so hard for me because I like to look in the viewfinder at myself. So oh yeah, no, that. like my all my vlogs from Disney, I'm looking at the viewfinder and I'm like, I'm an idiot. <laughs> it takes practice. Yeah. Do you like name your products when you do your makeup or do you just like um, do it? I sometimes do. A lot of times I just end up forgetting. Okay. I think we should try to do it. I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer because supposedly... Su supposedly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like a dupe for um, the Tatcha one. Like oh, the Tatcha okay. Putty one. I didn't know that. Yeah. Hell yeah. So I do like it a lot. And then I also use the uh, like Touch and Soul No Pore Blend. I don't use primer. Okay, so now I use the Infallible Fresh Wear. By L'Oreal? Yeah, by L'Oreal. I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation, which is sometimes a little scary, but <laughs> it happens. And I like to apply this with a brush rather than a sponge right away. Do you hear the noise? Oh. He's making a weird noise. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the pump is like, hey. I got um, way too much foundation just now. Um, if I have a five o'clock shadow, I'm not a drag queen, so it's okay. <laughs> I don't think anyone will care. I don't think so either. Hi. Hey. What's up? That's my brother Connor talking. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I like it, but it is pretty light. It looks so pale in the camera for me, but it, I promise, like... It's not that pale. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is really pale, but it does match. So you're just gonna watch us? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, hmm. You, you wanna join in? Do you wanna get your makeup done? Do your makeup? <laughs> we should do a challenge type makeup video with Hannah and Nicole, because they both have their conspiracy palettes now, mm -hmm. so we could easily do, like, a... Like, make a look with the conspiracy palette or something. Yeah. I don't think I've ever used highlighter without doing foundation. Really? I love it. I should do it. I was gonna wait to do my face makeup until after I did my eyeshadow. eyeshadow. I usually do the same thing, but um, <laughs> not today. I love living at 5280 elevation. <laughs> it makes my skin feel flawless. Oh, yeah. But I also, I think that's one of like the positive things about having like more oily skin in Colorado True. is that you produce oil so your face isn't necessarily like extremely dry but especially like if you do like an actual like skincare routine mm -hmm. then like the oil production isn't like bad oil production either yeah I do look like a ghost right now it's okay I kind of do too I want to try the Fenty I want to try the hydrating one that's the one I want to try because I think I tried a sample of the like other one, the, the one. Pro Filter Foundation. Yeah. yeah, and it like did not look good on my skin. Yeah, mine always. So like the weird thing about it, which I no shade to Rihanna because I love all of Rihanna's products, but um, the Pro Filter Foundation um, like oxidizes so bad mm -hmm. that I'm like, uh, I put it on and I look like my actual skin tone, but then it like oxidizes and then I look like I'm like five shades darker than I should be. Milk makeup, their, oh, yeah. their foundation, uh -huh. that happened. And I really liked that foundation, but it always oxidized into like an orange color. Yeah. And I was like, and that's not for that's tea. not cute. Well, I'm using the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Oh, I didn't concealer. say what, see. I used the infallible concealer that goes with the foundation. So see, I always forget. I'm the worst. <laughs> it's okay. It happens. And then I'm using the Airspun loose face powder. I think I've said in other videos I don't like this powder. You can use my warmer, see? It's right there. It's, 
No, it's okay. That stuff's <laughs> expensive. I don't want to. Oh, honestly, I don't use it that often. So really? if you want to use it, go ahead and use it. Okay. Then just kidding. I'm not using the Airsmod one. <laughs> See, I like the matte or Maybelline Fit Me powder for um, like all over my face, but yeah. like around my eyes, it doesn't. Because it's a, it's colored. It's not the translucent one. So I don't want to put it. It's almost like their like foundation powder. Yeah. yeah. Also, I need to get that like, those sense. gloves that people wear when they do their makeup. Have you seen that? No. There's like guys on Instagram that do makeup and he puts on a glove. Oh. And so he doesn't get like foundation on his That's hands. That's so smooth. And he I like. I hate that feeling. Yeah, yeah. So he uses a glove and I like. <laughs> I'm astonished by the fact that he uses a glove, even though, I mean, nothing wrong with using a glove, but it's just a little, like, kooky to see yeah. at first. Did you see Tati's new beauty item thing that she's putting on her website? I haven't. I've only seen her eyeshadow palette. So it's like a, it's a puff type thing, like a powder puff. Okay. But she says, like, it can be used for everything like foundation, concealer, everything. And when you get it, you get like a big one that's like shaped like this. Like a planchette? Mm -hmm. You know what that is? That's what like the little Ouija board things. Oh yeah, yeah. like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then a little mini one for like on the go. And like you can also use it to tap, like to get rid of oil and stuff. Oh. If it works, like yeah. I want it. But I don't, I just don't know if it would actually work. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know. I mean, I love Tati, don't get me wrong, but I also still, like, can't understand why her palette is literally the same colors, but different intensities of glitter. <laughs> like, and like I said, I'm not bagging on Tati. I love Tati. She's my mom. She's like, just like, that's how I feel. Like, yeah, I got, like, one of those storybook palettes. Oh, really? Yeah, or in my box last month. Did you like it? I haven't Did used it yet. Uh, oh yeah. Boy makeup. <laughs> Should I try to do it too? Do it, yeah. I like doing it, honestly. I think it's fun. <laughs> and it's like a change. Let's all be boys. I forgot to say, I'm using <laughs> the oh, Tardiest Pro Glow palette and for I'm bronzer. Using a uh, Tarte Single blush and the shade's celebrated right now. I just like do this I'm like See, I feel like I look like a clown if I try to do that. I'm using Tarte <sighs> blush and party Parte It's like a sample size but I've had this for so long. Oh I love it. It's a great blush. Yeah. So tell me how your whole Disney trip was. I'm so excited to hear about it. So good. Let me tell you about the airplane because I didn't really talk about it in the vlogs. Was that the way there or back? On the way there. Okay. Well and back. Okay. So we flew Frontier which we usually Ooh. don't fly Frontier. We usually do Southwest. I mean everybody was super nice. Connor's still just standing in the kitchen. Okay. Oh, I should have said, uh, I went in with the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in shade number six, and now I'm going in with the 24 Hour Brow Setter Brow Gel, which is my favorite product I think I've ever bought. Do you think I need more on my cheeks? You can go in with a little bit more. That's what I'm saying. Um. I look like I have a fever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oops. Oh well, I'm it with the I really powder. like it though. I don't know yeah. why. Like, what about it? Anyways, everyone was super nice. I like, like wanted to clarify that. Yeah. Because I feel bad for like kind of talking about no it. No shade to Frontier. Yeah. They're not very used to accommodating for disability. <laughs> oh yeah. So usually what happens is I pre-board, so I'm like the first one. Because you have a wheelchair. Yeah. yeah, and so it takes more time, and they have to. I have to get in an aisle chair, and then they'll pull me on the aisle chair to my seat, and then I'll transfer from there. And then don't they put your wheelchair under the plane? Yeah, then they take it at the um, door of the plane. Well, it seemed like they didn't really know what they were doing, and like we went up to the guy but like when we first got to the gate, when we were still waiting for the boarding yeah. and told him like, oh, I'm gonna need an aisle chair. 
He's like, okay. So then they sit, they make an announcement that they're starting boarding. Okay. And I was like, they never announced pre-board. So I'm like, oh, I guess I just go up right now. And so he takes our ticket and he scans it in and everything. And he's like, I called to tell them that you needed an aisle chair, but I haven't heard anything. And I'm like, I should already have one like on okay. the, like in the hallway thing. Yeah. yeah like, so, but he lets us through. Okay. And I was like, well, what does he want us to do? Like, what is happening? But he's like, go in, go on in. And we get down there, and there is an aisle chair, but there's not a person to help oh, me get on the plane. Oh, they have a frontier employee. Yeah. Now. I'm like, okay. Well, what are we supposed to do? And then we're sitting there waiting, because I I think he did say like, oh, wait down there. Yeah. And we're sitting there waiting, and then we just see everybody else coming on the plane, like, to line up to get on the plane, and we're like... Well, I'm not figured out yet. Yeah, like, somebody's supposed to be here. And, like, the flight attendants, they're not trained to, like, do that stuff, and they're like, I don't know what we're supposed to do. Like, we've never done, like, something like this. Yeah. So then, luckily, since we were going to Disney, I had my prosthetics. Oh, yeah. And so, because I can't walk on my prosthetics without crutches. And I usually need someone there like to support me But we get the my wheelchair into the front of the plane and we were in like the third row So then I just like walked and held, held on to the seats and like someone was holding on to me to make sure I didn't like fall And then I got in my seat, but like everyone was like Trying to get on the plane like it was just really hectic and stressful. So I mean it was fine yeah. But it was just it was annoying. Yeah, and so then, um, anyways, the reason we did it is because kids fly free. So Silas, we didn't have to pay for it. It was the cheapest option. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got there and I like went up to the lady that was working at the desk and I told her like, hey, I'm gonna need a Nile chair. She's like, okay. Then we go up and we're waiting and she comes up to us and she's like, so nobody's come to get you on the plane. I would have been like, um, okay, well then get this someone again? to come and get me. She's like, I can't, like, what do you need? And I was like, well, usually I get in an aisle chair and then they pull me on. And she's like, okay. At this point, I was like, you know what? I'll just do what I did on the way here. Just give us extra time. Because that was like the biggest issue on the way there was that like people were trying to get on the plane while I was still getting on the plane. Yeah, which makes it difficult. Yeah, and like, cause then I also have to like, we, we're putting our bags up. We have to put like parts of my wheelchair up that we take off. Like, like your seat? Yeah, like the yeah. seat cushion and stuff like that. I remember my mom and I were flying home from Mexico one time and we used to fly Delta cause my grandma works for them. Mm -hmm. And this lady, this poor little flight attendant, we hit turbulence and she was pouring my mom a glass of wine. Oh, And my mom had this. her computer and she goes, oh and pours wine all over my mom's keyboard. My mom was like, oh, great. Delta had to buy her a new computer. I shouldn't say full computer, but like had to like pitch in to buy her a new computer. Oh, I got this in my mystery box. Oh. I haven't showed it to like anyone yet. It's so Ooh. pretty. Someone comments something like, why is he putting more blush on? Just don't say it. Just don't say it. I know I already have a lot on. I don't know, I think like my vibe is very like visco girl or at least like how i like present myself is very like any oop any oops <laughs> yeah i don't really know what my vibe is <laughs> i'm just me. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, we're all just ourselves, mm -hmm. but I mean. And I'm gonna be mixing literally two Arch Nemesis's palettes today. So, <laughs> you've are seen... Arch oh, I guess I, I wouldn't say like Arch Nemesis. Nikki's video. <gasps> oh, girl, I was shook. I was so, like, I seriously thought she was gonna say she's like, buy or pan. Oh, yeah. And then she said she was transgender, and I was like... I was... Because I remember watching her like when she was in high school. Yeah. And like. Isn't that insane? I just like had no idea. I think it's sick though. I mean, for someone oh, yeah. who has like that big of a platform to go in and be able to be like, hi, like this is who I am. The reason I would do red is because I brought this, my Fenty Stunna lip paint, mm -hmm. which if you want to 
play around with that too, you totally can. I actually took that and put it on the back of my hand and used a lining brush and I tried to do red eyeliner. Oh. And then it stained my lashes red. <laughs> it goes on your face, like your lips, not your eyes. Which, that was probably really dangerous now that I think yeah. about it. I'm like, oops. <laughs> I'm like going all out on highlight Yeah, today. why not? I mean, very blinding. I walk out of the house with just like a highlight. I love but, highlight. Uh, I really want to do purple, but I also don't ever do purple. You do it. I keep thinking, I'm like, should I do the purple one I already did? Or should I try something different? I feel like I should try something different. Because I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll try blue. I love blue. I love it. I've never really done it. Also, I think I want to use blue. the Marc Jacobs thing you gave me for Christmas. Oh, yeah. That is so pretty. I can't get over it. I'm doing things. purple. I'm using it. But I'm going to use this one and then probably the silver in this palette. In the shame and, palette. Yeah, and then the ranch color too. I'll probably do either ranch or just a theory for my under eyebrow highlight. Oh, I just totally messed up. I went in the wrong color. I meant to go in the <laughs> light purple. It's all good. <laughs> so you got up at 4 a.m. to wait at Galaxy's Edge. I think that's <laughs> insane. I literally got to Shay's house that day and I go, you will not believe. And she goes, what? And I go, <laughs> You and I have been talking about going to Disney, but Maddie's at Disney right now, and Shay was like, really? And I was like, yeah, I mean, when are they not at Disney almost? But, <laughs> um, she was like, damn, like, I wish I was at Disney. And I said, yeah, but I definitely would not want to wait four hours in the Galaxy Edge line to get a time slot. But, I mean, it is cool. And, like, I it, understand that, like, Disney is one of, like, the busiest places literally on the planet. It was really crazy when we first got there because we got there on New Year's Eve. Yeah. But how was that? Like, how was celebrating New Year's there? Did you like it? Did you not <laughs> we like were it? Asleep. Yeah, I figured. I mean, we, because our flight was at midnight. Yeah. On New Year's Eve. So we landed at 6 a.m. there. Okay. 4 a.m. here. Yeah. We went straight to the hotel, but then we had to wait like a couple hours because our room wasn't ready. Yeah. It wasn't, maybe it was actually like an hour and a half. You got there and your suite wasn't ready, but you guys went to like the restaurant? Yeah, we got breakfast. Which well, looked so good. Oh my god, it was so good. Well, that was just the first day. Yeah. So, but. Do you have one for every day? Uh -huh. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> There's going to be like eight of them. So my, my camera battery died on the last day, we were at Magic Kingdom, and it was like in the middle of our dinner. I mean, I got a few clips from it. I felt so sick when we got back to the hotel that night. Was it from eating there, do you think? No, it wasn't the food. I just like, my body felt sick. I think it's, it's because I got the traveling. I, wa I don't think I drank enough water, especially that day. And then I have a UTI. Oh, okay. So I think that was like the beginning of it too. Yeah. And so I just was like, out of it yeah for sure yeah i just felt so sick and then the next day we had to check out at like 11 but the like bus shuttle to the airport was coming to get us at five okay. so we had like all those hours and i was sick at this point i like didn't film anything that day like after the crystal palace thing i haven't filmed anything i mean hey that's okay um it gets that way yeah but as soon they as put i saw us... the start of your video i instantly thought of that idea that i texted you and i was like <laughs> you need to do this <laughs> i'm totally i'm gonna do it i like, that would be thinking so helpful while i'm posting these vlogs i'm gonna try to post two videos like that video and then a different video yeah so like this one will go up for sure so it's not, not the same so day, not, but like, like just a, like a series yeah. of Disney. Yeah. 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 I just like as soon as I saw that video start, I was like, you know, the best idea would honestly be to like explain how you travel. For yeah. Disney. And like my idea in my head was like, oh, I'm gonna film how it's done. But like in the moment, it's hard to take the camera out and start recording. Oh that yeah. Stuff. Exactly. Like we're rushing, and then I was like also wanting to film. Um, clips of me do like getting on rides and stuff okay but it was like always there were so many people i didn't have it was like too crazy so yeah i think i am gonna like try and explain how it's done i honestly would love that and then like that video would be sick the tips and stuff on if you're like disabled 
Well, because it's like when you think about it, like who, like who does that? Like who who has posted a video? I mean, not saying that people haven't. Yeah, but it's, but like, it's not. Who has posted a video? Yeah, I mean that's part of why I wanted to start my channel was to show like disability more because yeah. there's like all these people that make videos, but like hardly any of them have like disabilities. Like, yeah, at least common ones like there's molly burke true but she's but, blind yeah but it's like it's just different like i mean go obviously going to disney for her is an extremely different experience than like me going to disney or even yeah. you going to disney because i mean everyone's different and we all have like different mindsets and do different mm -hmm. things and want to do different things it's just yeah there needs to be a representation of everyone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. That's what I should have said. Not bagging on YouTube. Not bagging on anyone who has posted a Disney vlog if they've been, like, disabled or anything like that. But it's also, like, the only videos when you search Disney on YouTube and, like, it's not, like, Disney songs. Mm -hmm. It's, like, just Disney vlogs. Like, you have, like, the... I don't remember her name, but she's, like, the... Um, like Disney food blog, I think is what oh, she yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And so she like talks all about like different attractions, way they like get in easy and like all this stuff. But it's like, like how do you get into things mm -hmm. easy? Because obviously like you have a disability. So it's like, it's not going to be as easy as like me going and like walking up to a restaurant and like yeah. doing this. Like it takes other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's definitely not really shown <laughs> yeah and it yeah it is like a completely different thing but i definitely want to go so bad mm -hmm. it looks so pretty we i don't know we've never stayed in the swan and dolphin hotel mm -hmm. but we did do like um a dinner there once like a few years ago and it was nice um i think my cousin stayed th at that one i mean they just look so pretty and i mean are, yeah they're still technically on disney property aren't they yeah like it's with like the beach club oh. boardwalk it's the same area and oh. there's like a lake and you can take the ferry to epcot and hollywood studios but what about magic kingdom magic kingdom you have to take a bus okay can we also talk about the fact that animal kingdom was supposed to have like the a, dragon yeah thing? like a whole fantasy that animal kingdom. i talk about it in my vlog when we <sighs> went to because they have like you can see and you still see like the original the, signs mm -hmm. with the dragon in the center yeah. yeah because it was supposed to be a whole thing but then it ended up costing them way more money than they were expecting with the animals mm -hmm. so they had to put it on hold and then like someone who was working on that whole land area left and went to Universal yeah. and made the the whole dragon area at Universal that is now Harry Potter. Which, so they ended up getting rid of it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, now that it's like Harry Potter, I mean, would Disney like be copying them? Like... True. But now it's Pandora where the whole oh, thing was. Oh, shoot. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I think it would have been so cool to do the whole dragon yeah. thing, but at the same time, I'm like, I love Pandora. Oh yeah. So, sure. like, I can't be too mad about it. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. I saw a bunch of things online where people were like, Disney should do a like whole land on like the good versus evil thing because like the, fantasy creatures almost. But, but with... not even the cre like with like a villains. Oh, a villains area. area. Yeah. And then ha do like a dragon type thing within the vi villains area, okay, yeah. which would be really cool, like with Maleficent and yeah. all. Yeah. Oh, yes. Like I think they should totally do that. It'd be just so cool. Um, but there was a, I don't know what it is, but when I was younger and I lived in Minnesota, my daycare lady had this tape, and it was like all Disney songs, uh -huh, but it was the all Disney live sing action. Along. Yeah. In the park. Yes. Yeah, they're yes. on YouTube because I watched them with Silas I because love I loved them. them. Yeah, and like when they would dance outside like the haunted mansion. Yeah, and, and it was, was like, like... There was like, <laughs> there was Donald yes. in the ghost uh -huh. sheet thing. That was so good. I, and like, it wasn't just like a few like scenes like it was like a whole damn film. yeah but yeah like so i watch like channels on youtube about disney yeah i'm no same um and one of them do you will... watch mickey views no so mine are like they're not necessarily current disney i should say it's very much like 
the one I watched the other day was the evolution of like Snow White's like adventures oh. ride. There's Yester World. Yeah, I watched Yester World. Land. Yeah. yeah. So I like watch those, and then there's another guy that does a lot our Disney, but like most of them are also like around the world. But mm -hmm. his channel is called Bright Sun Films, and oh, he has great. Yeah, yeah, I watch him. Yeah. So there's this guy on TikTok that mm -hmm. Marissa and I used to follow. Well, I still follow him. Marissa's account got deleted. Why? It just happened, and she had a TikTok that had like twenty thousand likes. And it got deleted. Yeah. She was like, I'm pissed. I'm just not even going to make a new oh, one. Oh, I would have been pissed. I'm like, girl, you don't mess with my life. I rarely go on TikTok now, though. Oh, same here. The only time I do is when Hannah texts me TikTok videos that she's like, haha. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I do get sucked in. Did you see the Dance Moms one? No. Do you have, did you watch Dance Moms, like, when it was on? Yeah. So, there was, there was this... Uh, TikTok. I can show you when we're done filming, but Hannah sent it to me, and it's of uh, Kendall, mm -hmm. Brooke, and some other girl, and then Nia's in it. Oh. And they're reacting, or like recreating the scene where um, Abby like tries to like bite Kelly's hand, <laughs> where she, where Kelly's doing this, and Abby's like, <laughs> like trying to eat it, and um, it's so funny. And Brooke is just like sitting there, like playing, like the role of herself and mm -hmm. Nia plays Holly and at the end it's just Nia and she's like girls out of the room <laughs> it's so funny but other than that I mean I don't really go on TikTok that often yeah like every once in a while I go on it I was going on it I was like making a ton of them oh yeah I remember that yeah and then I don't know I just like got bored of it so pretty the purple yeah. I was thinking that I was like I'm that's like, gorgeous and it looks like it's purple but then you put it on and you're like oh so it's purple with iridescent blue glitters in it and i when i first got this palette i was like sissy you snapped like <laughs> i'm also kind of like a psychopath when i put on mascara because sometimes i'll grab like a thumbtack and i'll separate my lashes yeah i just use a brow brush i was like concerned i was like what are we going to talk about while we're doing our makeup i'm like I like talking about Disney, honestly. I yeah, think it's same. so fun. I love that place. So I didn't say this earlier, but the eyeshadow I'm doing right now is the same that I did the day I went to the Galaxy's Edge thing. Well, it's going to be a little different because I'm using the like glitter stuff that um, Nico gave me. I'm using one of the purple shades from oh. the James Charles palette, which it's, is Nico's. Let's see. Shade Escape. Because it's just straight. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. That looks so pretty. Oh my god. That's I'm so obsessed. Pretty. I love that. I don't know if you can, like. I'll try to do a close up before I do the other eye. But that's, like, gorgeous. That's so pretty. I, I love, love that. It. So this is with the glitter. It's Marc Jacobs. I don't know if I said that. I think you did. Okay. And then that's just with the silver from Shane's palette. I look like one of the evil villains from Disney. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cute. it's Maleficent. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Okay, now I just have to do my mascara and oh, then I'm done. So. Well, I guess my eyebrow oh. gel stuff too. Yeah. I think, I don't know if I had, I just like whacked my face. <sighs> I feel like my hair looks stupid, but it really doesn't. I'm just sitting in it. <laughs> So, that's it. That's how it looks. We didn't that's really get a close up makeup. look of your makeup. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> e boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Yes. Hit the notification bell. We'll definitely have stuff. to do a video with Hannah and Nicole next, we, too. Yeah, we do so. need to do one. It'll be fun. We'll be back. Yeah. Or at least I'll be back. <laughs> and then they will be back too. So. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. Peace out. <laughs>
<clears throat> Sorry. I, I, I. Like the actual like sticks. Mm. And I was like, uh, I don't know.